everyone. Sorry that uh, we're running a bit late today. And we're baking the world's best brownie. I kid you not, I found this claim on the recipe and I thought, okay, who are they kidding? Nobody makes the world's best brownie, but they do. And uh, I managed to make it even better by tweaking, bringing little tips. I studied, I think, 10 brownie recipes before I finally zeroed in on this one and I picked out two or three tips from other good recipes and kind of blended it all in together to make it the best brownie recipe ever. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with some really nice high quality cocoa powder. Now I like my brownie dark and intense. So I've used a blend of, um, if you can see here, it's two kinds of cocoa powder. It's a blend of rich dark. Can you see the color difference? There's some special dark, extra dark cocoa powder and that's just regular cocoa powder. So it's um, three quarter cups plus two tablespoons on top of that. So that's the, all the cocoa powder we have in here. And um, this is 145 grams of unsalted butter. So let's, let's put the butter in there. And uh, this is one and a quarter cups of granulated sugar. Now I've used one cup white and quarter cup brown because brown gives it a nice chewy texture. So I'm pouring all the sugar over there. We're gonna put a little sprinkle of salt. I have this really nice pink salt, but you can use regular salt as well. Just a little dribble. So salt is amazing because um, it brings out the flavor of everything and that's why we use salt. We don't want salty brownies at all, but salt enhances the flavor. Okay, come on, let's go, to, let's go to that side of life. So now, so um, there's a saucepan of simmering water. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to put this, this bowl of butter, sugar, and soon to be added cocoa powder. And we're going to melt the butter and sugar over the simmering water. This is... Um, a good way to make sure it becomes really nice and granulated this so this is this is one of the tricks from the recipes um, it's a really cool way to melt your butter it's gonna take some time though it's melting finally finally can you see slowly slowly melting melting but yeah so okay now I'm gonna start adding the cocoa powder Oh, this cocoa powder it smells so good. It smells really, really good. Okay, see the steam is, but but can you see the mixture is changing? Oh. Oh, you have to take a look at this. Look at it. It's a fully transformed mixture. Isn't that lovely? Ooh. Okay, I think I'm gonna switch this off. Ooh. Okay, that's just my juicer. Well, in the cooler, we're supposed to put two eggs. I'm a little scared that if I put the eggs now, it might turn into an omelet, like a big chocolate omelet. So I'm just going to cool it down a bit. This is an indication of how good the brownie is going to be. It's smackingly delicious. Okay. How many of you are going to try this recipe out? How many? I want to know. I hope at least three people will try my brownie. Tamil la pesinga, madam. Sir, ini yethre perenga. Ippo vande inda brownie try pona porenga. These are the clams. Look at that. It's it's become really nice and thick, isn't it? 
Mm. Then we're gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla syrup. So, oh, that's too much. So it's one, just a little vanilla essence. Ipo, we've come to the end of it. You just have to add the flour. It's just so. You know why I love this brownie? Because it's only half a cup of flour. That's it. So this is the only brownie recipe I came across where there's more chocolate than flour. Isn't that amazing? London last year, I got these really nice dark chocolate coated coffee beans. And um, there's still some left. So now we're going to put this into the grinder and grind it up into a powder and put it into our brownie mix. I think uh, we've put everything in here except the olive oil. So this is just for moisture. So we're just going to put one. Two. Not much. Need real butter powder already. Yeah. Okay, come on. Let's go into the kitchen now. Our batter is almost ready. We only have to do this. Tick, tick, tick. So I'm gonna just pop these in. So it serves a dual purpose because it's coffee and chocolate. comes with a additional caffeine kick and that is unmatchable mm. well I have already greased this pan with some butter a little one in case we have any leftover batter that's always a good thing more brownies the happier we are okay we're done here toppings toppings just some chopped walnuts That twist. Yeah? Salty twist. Yeah. So these are salted brownies now. Okay, and they're ready to go into the oven. That's the oven. Let's go, guys. Let's go, let's go, let's go. This is the this is the toothpick test. We have to put the toothpick to see if it's done. Yep, that's done. Ooh, it's a clean toothpick, so it's done. Excellent work! Excellent work. Okay, well. Okay, guys. That's a um, round two of the bacon sing. We have this delicious brownie. We're gonna take amazing pictures of the brownie and post it on Insta along with the recipe. 
and um, thank you all for joining. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the concert with the hairbrush mic. Okay, lots of love. Bye.